Hey everybody, what is up? It's Sid from Canadian Online Gamers, and I just wanted to do my recap of the four things I love and hate about Rory McIlroy's PGA Tour for the PlayStation 4. Now, we had Trevor from the website do a full written review of the game for the Xbox One. You guys can click the link in the description box below to read it. But let's get started with the four things I love about the game. First thing I love about the game are the quick rounds options. So if you're like me and you don't have time to play 72 holes in a single tournament, then quick rounds is the perfect solution for you. The game basically chooses the best five or six holes per round and lets you compete in a single tournament and complete a tournament in under a half an hour. The game even does a pretty good job of simulating the holes you skip so there isn't a drastic shift in score between rounds. The second thing I love about the game is the core gameplay mechanics. At its core, PGA Tour is a solid game of golf. The game allows you to choose between three different swing styles, arcade, three click and tour. During my hands on time I felt right at home with the arcade swing style since it really allows you to utilize the analog sticks and allows you to manipulate the ball's power and spin. If you're looking for more of a challenge the three click and tour swing style will be right up your alley. The game even goes so far as to give you the option of creating your own swing style. The third thing I love about the game is the nightclub mode. Now when I think of nightclubs and golf, it brings me back to the escapades of Tiger Woods. So apparently EA and myself had different thoughts of what to expect with this mode. I don't think of an old guy trying to complete golf challenges in a neon lit course late at night. But aside from that, the nightclub mode is actually pretty fun. There's dozens of challenges that will keep you busy for hours and you're ranked on a scale of one to three stars. And I frequently found myself going back to past challenges in an attempt to three star them. And the last thing I love about the game is Baba Booey. Need I say more? It would have been nice if the commentators had some reaction to the Baba Booey shoutouts, like acting annoyed with it or giving Howard their own shout out with a hey now. Oh, quiet, please. Real original stuff. Yeah. Turning now to the four things I didn't like about the game, the lack of courses, golfers, and game modes. I mean, what happened to EA? There always seems to be the case with next generation sports titles when they make their console debut. I still remember NHL 2001 for the PlayStation 2 lacking a lot of the basic features its counterpart had. Maybe a lack of development time is to blame for these features. PGA Tour ships with only 13 courses and 12 golfers. To top that off, the Masters Augusta National Course is not playable in the game, and popular modes like Skins and Best Ball are nowhere to be found either. EA no longer plans to release yearly PGA Tour titles for the foreseeable future, as their focus is to have PGA Tour serve as a platform by which DLC will be continually added, similar to what was done with the publisher's other title, UFC. Second major gripe with the game is a lack of customization options. The character customization options are bare at best. There's only 11 head types, 3 non-white skin tones, little to no facial hair options, 3 main body types, and strange eye colors to choose from. Orange, anyone? You wouldn't have much luck recreating yourself in the game given the narrow range of options. My third gripe with the game is that the putting could use a much better tutorial. The putting can be difficult to master, and it's only made more difficult by the fact that the game's prologue doesn't do a very good job of explaining how to properly follow the white putting line. I sometimes find myself doing the exact opposite of what the putting line was showing based on my read of the green. My final gripe with the game are the spotty EA servers. On more than half a dozen occasions I had trouble connecting to their servers and to ensure it wasn't just my connection I tried playing the game on two different connections from two different ISPs and ran into the exact same issue. At its core, PGA Tour is a solid title, but it's the window dressings around it that seem to lack any depth. Limited course selection, spotty servers, and a lack of any real character customization make this a title that may be worth the wait down the road after months of DLC have been served to the community.